Park Bench community. I am here with Kim Hines of Kim Hines Health and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining us, Kim. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so I recently had the opportunity to get a health coaching session from Kim, and I was telling her about my nightly ice cream habit. Um, every night, once I get the kids to bed, I have a ginormous bowl of ice cream with hot fudge and peanuts. You know, I couldn't just stop at the ice cream. And so I was asking for her help in some ideas to help maybe change that behavior or curb that sugar craving. So Kim, what can you, uh, would you mind sharing with our viewers how you helped me, the tip you gave me? I would love to. And first of all, I usually work with people on whatever the trigger is. And your trigger is the end of the night reward. You've made it through the day and you're Yay. congratulating yourself, which <laughs> is great. But we also um, love to have that sugar. It just tastes good and it's addictive. So I always tell my clients to take five. So if you're trying to figure out what your trigger is, it's hard to do when we're going straight to the pantry. Mm -hmm. So take five means take five minutes and if you're still hungry, you still really want it, then go ahead and have it. And I have even for myself and my kids, I have four teenagers and they are in the pantry and the fridge out of boredom all the time. We have a post-it that just has a five on it and I do that for myself, and I did it at first, they didn't even know what it was, and I explained it. The five reminded me to take five minutes, and then I could decide, am I hungry, stressed, bored, tired? And then, if I really wanted the ice cream, I could have it, but really, really enjoy it, but if I really didn't need it, or didn't need the snack, I would find something else to do. That is a great tip. It really has helped me a lot. Um, you know, just those simple things that, uh, service triggers for us for me it was kind of like okay this is my decompressed time I'm gonna sit here and eat this bowl of ice cream but it really has helped a lot so Kim I know that you do things far beyond diet that happened to be my biggest issue with the two little guys and being super busy what are some of the other things that health coaches bring I love my job because the integrative nutrition part of it okay. means that I can go outside of food and I could talk about food all day long, but when it comes down to it, it's not just about food. People in our society are so stressed out. We have so many things on our plate and we're going and going. We have technology and we are lacking sleep. That's another thing I help people with is getting a sleep routine. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, especially <laughs> with two babies. And it is really hard to um, balance everything and then on top of that try to eat well mm -hmm. because that really works against us. So I try to incorporate every part of my client's life mm -hmm. and everyone's unique. We're not all the same, so we have different needs and different parts that need to be balanced. Sure. Well, one of the things that I loved when I chatted with Kim as well was that she was willing to say, you know what, it's okay if you have an ice cream or it's okay if you have to have a pizza night one night because you do have two small kids and you have this new business that you're starting with your husband. And so, you know, I love that it doesn't at all feel preachy and that it's coming from a place of kind of where I am and this is what's happening with my life and felt very... Um, personal to me. It wasn't a one-size-fits-all, so I really appreciated the love and support and compassion and really just the encouragement that, hey, it's okay if this is where you are. Let's see if we can shift just a little bit. Like we, one of the things you mentioned to me is maybe think about having a smoothie instead of ice cream mm -hmm. so you can still have something that gives you that little bit of sweetness. It's something that's ritualistic that kind of um, since the end of your day, but it's not necessarily a bowl of ice cream, which um, neither um, my brain nor my hips really need. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for, for just helping me with, with that. Um, we only had a small time together, but it really was impactful yeah. on my life. So, And I appreciate you bringing that up because we are real people, and I want everyone to feel that they're in that safe, non-judgmental zone. Mm -hmm. And this is life. Life is meant to be lived. And if we can do it healthier, that's great. But it's okay to have some fun things in our life to balance that out. That sounds great. Well, Park Bench, if you would love to talk with Kim, she does offer a consultation. So if you would love to chat with her about your health goals and ways that she might build from where you are, feel free to reach out to her on the directory. And of course, you can read the full interview on the page.
Thanks so much, Kim. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure.